Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our Mirage 2000C today and we're looking at INS navigation system realignment while airborne. So the navigation system is a gyro based system in this Mirage and like all gyro INS, INS based systems, they start off, as long as you've calibrated them right, they start off very accurate, but they can drift, become inaccurate and become misaligned. So examples of things that could misalign it is if you've been on the ground for too long, the vibration of being on the ground tends to uh, misalign the gyros and also just general flying up in the air. We think up to about 40 minutes of normal flying in a Mirage will misalign the gyros and cause your navigation to be inaccurate. So we're going to look at ways that we can, while airborne, realign the RNS system to be accurate again. So there are some things that we have to set in place for this. First of all, let's look at our key bindings. Adjust controls. This is the only key binding that we're going to need today. Magic Slave, AG Designate, INS Position Update. And it's the INS Position Update, obviously, is what we're interested in there. Next, we have to have a waypoint. This waypoint can be set in the mission editor for ease, or you can set it in the cockpit of your Mirage 2000. I've got a video on how to do that in the Mirage section. Next, you need a prominent mark, something easy to find, like a particularly big house or a dam or something small but easy to find. I've positioned here an oil rig for ease, as well as, and I've positioned my waypoint, although you can't see it, I've positioned my waypoint one exactly over that there with an elevation of zero. So that's how we're going to, so we're going to realign waypoint one with that visual marker there. So we're going to look at, we're going to get straight on with it and we're going to do the first method first. So stand by as I take off. Right, we're airborne now. We're going to go make our way to waypoint one, which is out there somewhere. So let's go and find that. Uh, there he is. You can see the cross on the ground there. So as we're working our way towards the waypoint, we're going to switch on our record or REC button there. We're just going to get a little bit closer. Okay, so we're six miles, so we're going to get our REC button on. That's going to stay on. As soon as we go over the target, we're going to hit VAL there. So we've got to get as accurately as we can. The more accurate we can do this, the more accurate our new alignment will be. Now you can see that our, our, our alignment is perfect at the moment. That's because I haven't had 40 minutes to spare to go and corrupt the INS system. But um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what a corrupted INS system looks like. In which case this cross here, or the waypoint, would be miles away from the actual oil rig. Okay, get ready to press. Ready to press and press. Lovely job. Right, so that's method one. Next, we're going to try method two. Now, this is going to require us to have our radar on. The previous version did not need our radar on, so set radar to emit. Next, we want OBL turned on here. Bosch, and we can see our targeting diamond there. What we're going to go and do is now is fly, so we position that dot in the diamond over our target, which is our uh, oil rig. So let's turn around and go and find it again. And then when we get that, we're going to press the INS position update button that we showed earlier, which we're going to do right there. And at that point, we are going to click, uh, you see these two light up, and then we click VAL. And that there has updated our position. Okay, so that's what we've got to say on that. Obviously, this requires us to have aligned our INS on takeoff, but I'm sure you'll be doing that anyway. That shows the two different ways that we know of realigning it midair. Thanks to Allo for helping out. I hope that helps, and see you later.